Hi, this is Mandy with Scott Leroy Marketing, and today's class is Smart Plans Overview. If you're here with me live again, just like I shared, go ahead and drop those questions in the chat as we go along, and I'll try to get them answered for you in real time, or else stay after class and help you get them answered then. And if you're watching this back on recording, you can always reach out to us at support at scottleroymarketing.com. So let's go ahead and sign into command here. And if you're not super familiar with smart plans, you're in the right place. I want to help define that for you first. So smart plans are a way that you can nurture and automate your touches to your database through your command system. Not only will it send automated emails, but it will do things like set up automated tasks for you, set call reminders for you. If you have a Twilio account connected to your command account, it'll actually automatically text contacts for you as well. To give you an example of how this could really, really benefit you and add value and consistency to your business, this these would be a great tool to use in your business to set task reminders of things that you need to do daily to work on or in your business especially if maybe you have an assistant or if you're a one-man band, it's always good to have that to-do list, right, built in right here within your command. You can use smart plans to add those tasks for you so you don't let things drop, especially as business increases in and out of season. It also can automatically reach out to leads. Let's say leads start entering their information into your KW website or maybe a paid ad that you ran. Well, guess what? You can set up smart plans that will automatically trigger an email or a text to go out to those contacts, especially if you're maybe in the middle of showings, maybe it's in the middle of the night, things like that. This is a way that you can automate your command to start being huge leverage for you. Smart plans are going to live right over here under the fourth tab. We're going to explore this in depth today. I do want to point out there is another tab right here <laughs> and it's campaigns. Now there's something called email campaigns and I just want to add a little clarity because a lot of people sometimes get confused between smart plans and email campaigns. Email campaigns are great if you're doing like a one-time email blast. It's a one and done kind of thing. Think about like an event or maybe a just listed or an open house. Something that would just be a one and done kind of email to shoot it out to your database. That's perfect for email campaigns. Smart plans, like I mentioned before, do a ton other stuff than just sending out emails. It's tasks, call reminders, texts, things like that. So, and it is automated, but you can, well, you can set it up to be automated. So the emails might be something that you use more than one time and you can continuously add contacts to that smart plan. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way and clarified, let's go ahead and go over some prep work that you will want to do prior to jumping into smart plans. You more than likely already have these things set up and done for you in command. I just wanna make sure that I point them out to you on the off chance that you ever need to adjust them, okay? So first thing, your command email settings within your command. Command email is how email is sent through smart plans. It's the platform they use. You would adjust that by going over here to the top right where your name is and going to settings. And hopefully it goes quickly for us today. <laughs> Scroll all the way down on this page here. And your command email settings are right here at the bottom under email services, and you can click manage. Now, you get 5,000 free email sends a month. If you need to upgrade that, you can do it right here under manage subscription. Maybe you're using these at a high level, um, getting a good return on them, so you want to use more, or maybe you're just working with a rather large database. So you can definitely manage your subscription here. If you're ever curious, if you're close to running out of your free sends, you can always check here as well because it will let you know how many you've already used that month. Down at the bottom. Now, a smart plan, like I told you, will send out an email for you, right? When it sends out emails, it actually sends it, and I'm gonna show you a sample here. 
it actually sends out an email from the email address agent with tons of numbers at mailer.kw.com. It sends from that email, but you can adjust the name that your, your consumers see, and you can also adjust the email that they reply back to. So I'm just showing you the settings on how to adjust that. You can adjust the name that appears on your smart plan emails right here, and you can adjust the email that your replies go to right here at the bottom. You would simply click that field, choose one of the emails, or even write in a custom one if you want, okay? I'm gonna close that box. That's just one of the things um, to go ahead and confirm. Robbie's asking a question, are the emails verified? I'm wondering if you're talking like, you know how Google just released all those new rules at the beginning of the year to make sure that you're not going to spam. Um, is that what you're referencing, Robbie? If so, yes, KW did take care of that with the KW emails. Um, I just wanna make sure that's what, I might need a little clarification on that question, if you don't mind, um, just to make sure that I get you the right answer for that. So second piece of prep work is Twilio. Twilio is 100% optional. You do not have to go and pay for a Twilio account. Twilio does cost extra money every month because it is your own subscription. But if you do choose to get a Twilio account, you would do so right here underneath your command email settings. So remember, we went to the name at the top, settings from the drop down menu, and we've just scrolled all the way to the bottom of the page right here for Twilio. Twilio will enable you to send automated bulk text messages or one off individual text messages through command and your consumers can reply to it as well. Even if they call that number, you can have it call forward over to a different number and receive it on your mobile device. So there's a lot that it can enable for you. There's some things I'll show you today how dynamic that really can be, especially when you start automating your command through smart plans. Um, but this is where you would get that account if you ever do want to come. You can simply click on subscribe in Marketplace it will open KW Marketplace in a new tab quickly. There we go. And if you scroll down here, it's going to give you all the information along with different price plans right here. OK, so you can come in here, shop for which ones you want. And they're fairly reasonable, guys. I mean, 300 credits is only three dollars a month. Right. So come in here. It tells you how those credits are used. Definitely shop around if that's something that interests you. We're gonna jump back into command here, just to orientate you with where we are on the screen. We've covered command mail and Twilio. The next piece of prep work is your marketing profile. Again, chances are this is already filled out for you. It's over here on the left-hand side under connect settings. You would click marketing profile, and this is where your bank of data lives. Now, you would put like your headshot here. It has your details with your name. I'm not gonna go through every single field on this. We have another tech tip video and another class that teaches you how to fill out your marketing profile or update it if you need to. I just wanna point out two specific things. Your license number. Highly recommend keeping your license number on this marketing profile and make sure it is correct. This does go out on your marketing material, specifically your smart plan emails um, that you may send out and also other pieces of information. So your license number you will want to have right here and down here at the bottom, your website. Make sure that your website is entered correctly. A good way to check that is just to copy it right from that field, open a tab on your browser and just paste that URL into the bar and hit enter. If it takes you to your site, you know the URL is correct and you're good to go. If you get anything else other than the site you're trying to reach, definitely go ahead and check it. Go to the site and then you can copy the address right out of the address bar and then bring it back over to this field on your marketing profile and paste it here. Um, a lot of times, if you're using your KW agent or team site, they do not work with www dot before them. Um, so we see a lot of times agents having www before the, the website instead of HTTPS. 
So just double check that. The reason behind this is when you're sending out marketing through your command, you want that website URL to be clickable. If it is not in here correctly or if it's a partial URL, then when a consumer is looking at that smart plan email or that smart plan text on their mobile device and they go to touch your website link, it won't work. But if it's a valid website link, they can one touch it on their mobile device and it should bring them right to your website automatically. Okay, so those are just two specific things I want to point out on your marketing profile. Of course, everything else is just as important when you're going into your phone number and email and things like that. But those two specifically double double check. Okay, next thing, we're just going to check on your command settings over here on the left. You have a smart plans option right here. And I want to show you this setting for your time and date. It's important to come back here and set this for your time zone. When you're sending out text through your smart plans, the text will only send from the hours of 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So that's important to remember. So that's for them to be compliant. So you want to make sure this is the right time zone, number one, for you to be compliant with your text, but also for them to go out when you intend them to go out, right? So you don't want to be the person that texts your client at 3 a.m. Or wait, what would it be? 5 a.m. I guess would be the earliest you could be if you were off on your time zone here. So definitely double check this um, and make sure you have that set correctly. And last but not least, let's go over to contacts. Your contact tab right here. You want to go ahead and have contacts in your command database. If you're not familiar with contacts or you need assistance getting your contacts into command, you can reach out to us or check out our database overview class. We actually go step by step showing you how to do imports, how to tag your contacts, how to get everything just so, so you'll be ready to run with your marketing, okay? And so right here in contacts, the main thing I want to show you is how to tag your contacts. You can add contacts by tag to a smart plan, and that's usually the fastest way that you can get the most contacts added without you having to manually do it, okay? There's also a way I'll show you shortly where adding a tag to a contact can automatically put them on a smart plan for you. There's a trigger we're gonna show you how to set that up. Um, so adding a tag to a contact would make it happen automatically and help your life greatly. <laughs> so I also want to make sure that when you leave class today, you are going to have smart plans that you can get started right now today with your contacts and not have to wait. That means we're going to be using some of the KW authored smart plans, the ones they've created and their most popular ones are like one called a monthly neighborhood nurture. That email sample I showed you just a moment ago, I'm gonna pull that back up on the screen. This is a monthly neighborhood nurture. They also do a bi-weekly one. This means that the contacts you add to this plan will get an email like this either bi-weekly every two weeks or once a month with stats about the neighborhoods that they are interested in. Maybe it's where they're moving to Maybe it's where they currently have a listing and they're keeping an eye on the market. Um, but they would get an email like this that would show neighborhood stats, current listings in that neighborhood. They can explore the town. And I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. This was a huge one that we had. It's jumped over to another tab. Let me pull that over for you. Now that it's not clipped, I want to show you the bottom. Um, so I'm going to scroll quickly through all of these neighborhoods, just so you can see if you have multiple neighborhoods on a contact, it's okay. They'll all go in one email. It won't spam the person, but I'm just showing you the branding that it puts at the bottom for you. This is standard. It cannot be adjusted other than the information. Okay. But it does put this at the bottom of a smart plan email for you. And so that is what a monthly neighborhood nurture looks like. Great, great leverage, especially if you've got tire kickers in your database, people that are not quite ready to buy, but they absolutely love like open houses or they love to keep tabs on the real estate market. Um, maybe it's somebody that potentially would be great to be in business with you one day. 
monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan is perfect. That's one that I'll show you today. The reason I'm pointing this, this out while we're looking at your contacts is your contacts need to have a primary email address and a neighborhood on file to be able to be added to a monthly neighborhood nurture. The other KW smart plan is one that's the birthday smart plan. Now, it actually sets up task reminders for you to go and do things like, hey, it's five days before their birthday. Why don't you go ahead and get a paper card and mail that to them? It also gives you another reminder, another day closer. Hey, why don't you reach out and text them? Gives you another one, reach out and interact with them on social media. You get the picture. It just helps set tasks for you so that you do not miss a client's birthday. They have a similar one for home anniversaries. So right here under contacts, I just want to show you how to get tags added to your contacts so that you can easily add them to these smart plans that are ready to go right now. We would go to our filters right here. These are ways that you can sort through your contacts. I'm going to go up to advanced because to me, this is the easiest way to get this done. And so you can ignore the setting that we already have here. I'm just going to go ahead and change this over to something else. This is just for our demo today. But if you were working on your screen, remember I said that they have to have a primary email address for the smart plan emails to work. So we'll say we're searching for contacts that have a primary email that's not empty. That means they have something in that primary email field. I also want to know if they have a neighborhood on file. So let's click neighborhoods and says and say is not empty. If I used these filters right here and take a screenshot of this if you want, what I'm showing you is the filters to use to find the contacts you can add to your monthly neighborhood nurture. These will help you if you hit apply right now. I would show contacts that have a primary email and have a neighborhood on file. That means I can go ahead and tag those folks for the monthly neighborhood nurture. Let's pretend I hit apply. You would hit apply. I'm going to hit X. It would generate the contacts right here within your screen that have the primary email and the neighborhood on file. Come over here to click on show. Show up to 500 contacts. And then we can select all. And from your bulk action menu, we're going to add that tag. So we can add tag, you can abbreviate it MNN. You'll see that a lot within KW for the monthly neighborhood nurture email or smart plan. So we'll just type in MNN, choose that tag and hit submit. This will add this tag to this contact here or up to 500 out of the ones that you chose. If you have more than 500 contacts, you would just hit the next page of your 500 and follow the steps again to add that bulk tag. Same with going and filtering, looking for birthday and home anniversary. So let's go back to our advanced filters. They still need to have a primary email on file. If you have that Twilio account, you might also want to make sure they have a primary phone number. You can also choose that here under primary information and make sure they have a primary phone that's not empty. It means that field is not empty and they have some data in there, which means they usually have one on file. And if we're looking for the birthday smart plan or the home anniversary smart plan, here's your birthday field. And we can choose is not empty. Or you can do home anniversary. Change it to is not empty. Either one of those will let you go ahead and view the contacts you know has a primary email on file and they have a home anniversary on file. So you can go ahead and add those today to our Keller Williams, excuse me, not our, but the Keller Williams home anniversary smart plan and birthday smart plan that I'm going to show you here by the end of class. Okay. This is just showing you the, how to find those contacts that you can go ahead and add those tags to, to make it easy to add them later. So go ahead and apply that filter if you need to. Again, select all and add that tag, okay? Now that you've sorted through your contacts and added those tags, it's going to make it much, much easier once we jump into the smart plans 
to get them started on the SMART plans themselves, okay? Our last little stop before the SMART, smart plans tab is down here in designs. If you haven't jumped into your designs yet, highly recommend it. There's a ton of great templates in here. We also have multiple classes on designs with how to use the templates that are in here so you don't have to recreate the wheel. Um, I'm not going to go through in detail how to edit a design or create one here since we have other classes that do that. I just want to point out a common thing that happens here to make sure you know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> so under your designs tab, this is where you can create the content for a smart plan email. You'll just want to make sure that it's an email format. Notice these are the projects that we've already worked on within design. Some say social pieces, some say email pieces, some say print pieces. In order to, for it to be compatible with a smart plan email, you want it to be an email format. When you go over here to create a design, choose email, okay? Um, some people ask, can you use the social templates? you 100% can use a social template or even a PDF um, in a smart plan email. You just need to convert it to an image and add it to an email. We have tip videos to show you how to do that. But if you ever come in here and you go into the social designs where I'll take you right now, the social template so that you can see where this bank lives and definitely use it. But right over here on the left-hand side, you'll have an option for templates as soon as it populates. There we go. All right, so over here on the left-hand side, you have all of these templates, guys, that you can come in and choose from to go ahead and create pieces. If you find something in here that you like, um, I personally love the lead gen folder that has a lot of different options right here like market expert choose my social square come in here and grab one of these templates you can definitely use this you just want to download it as an image go back out to the designs that we were looking at and make sure you're creating that email design and just add that image to it so there's lots of different options. Just make sure at the end of the day that you are actually using an email design. Let's go back out here to get us back into, there we go. So again, with designs, make sure at the end of the day, it's an email. Email designs works with your smart plan emails. All right. So now that we've made that point, let's actually go and jump into our smart plans now right up here, fourth one down. We're gonna do some general overview here. I'm gonna give you some navigation of this tab and what all lives where. And then we'll actually start jumping into how to activate smart plans, how to deactivate them. Just zooming in a little bit to make it easier for you guys. Um, Navid is asking, how did I go into the template? Over here on designs, I clicked on designs really quick. There's a shortcut. You can click create design and do it that way if you want. But if you click import design, it takes you right back to your social and your print pieces. It's also the place that you can import a PDF and turn it into an image as well and use it in social pieces um, or other different ways like PDF, change it to an image and use it in an email. But that's where I went. I just hit import design and you come back here and click on templates. Okay, I hope that helps. All right, so let's jump back out. It's just quicker sometimes to type in, um, to go back to command here. So I'm just using the address bar at the top. And we're going to jump back into Smart Plans tab. And let's do some general overview. So at the tippy top, you'll see my Smart Plans tab. And we have a library tab. I'm going to show you that here in just a second. We're going to deep dive into that too. You've got a search bar that helps you search through your smart plans that you've already either created customly down here at the bottom or have downloaded from the library. In that library, other KW associates and agents can actually create 
smart plans and publish them for everybody to use so you don't have to recreate the wheel. I'm going to show you how to get some of those today. So again, when you leave this class, you'll be completely equipped to go ahead and add your contacts straight onto smart plans today with no delay. Okay. So down here at the bottom, we're looking at people plans. Shows you the name of the smart plan. Shows you if contacts are added to them. Let me scroll through really quick and see, or just sort through our contacts there. We have a, an, a contact on this particular smart plan right now, and that's what it looks like. It'll show you the number of how many contacts you have on the smart plan and give you an eyeball. The eyeball will do stuff for you when you click it. I'll show you that in just a second. Let's just keep reviewing the columns for now. The creation date of the smart plan, duration. This is how many days it actually lasts. Total touches. Touches are going to be the amount of times that your client or consumer is directly interacted with. An email goes out. A text goes out. Think of those things, okay? There are other steps that may be involved that would be more of like a task created for you, the agent. That's not a direct touch to the contact. So it's not going to be counted in the total touches, just to help explain that a little further. And then we've got some action buttons happening over here. This is one where you can add contacts to the smart plan. I'm going to show you multiple ways because this is kind of a slow way. This lets you only add a few at a time. And then you can edit the smart plan. And you have three little ellipses over here that give you options to make a duplicate copy of that smart plan. Publish the library. If you have one that's getting great returns for you, you may want to consider sharing that with other KW associates and publishing it to that library at the top I told you about. And you can also delete the smart plans in totality. Okay, so you can remove it completely if you don't want to ever use it again. If you make that mistake, um, you can go to the library and grab it back if you had downloaded it from there. But if it is a custom smart plan you've created, once you've deleted it, you've deleted it, it's gone. You'll have to recreate it, okay? So be careful with that button. And the blue bar in the middle of the page, just letting you know, we don't have a Twilio account connected. Again, completely optional. You do not have to have it, but it will open up a whole new world to you if you do get it. So consider it, and here's the button right here to jump back in and look at those plans, okay? All right, so that is your general overview of this. I don't think I told you, but that's the publish tab right there. If you do publish any smart plans out to the public, they would appear here. It would show you how many downloads you've gotten and the rating you've received as well, okay? Today, we're going to focus on people plans. I'm going to show you how to download them from the library. Again, those ready-made ones that you can go ahead and use today. And then I'm also, at the end of class, I will go through how to create a custom smart plan yourself, especially if you want to get into making um, some really cool automations for your business that's suited for your needs, okay? All right, so now that we've gone over the general orientation of that, I'm actually going to open up a smart plan just to give you a view of what it actually contains and what it looks like. Then I'm going to come back out of it because we'll jump into in detail in a minute. But just in case you've never been in one, I'm just going to come down here. Let me find our monthly one. Okay, so I'm just again searching through finding the monthly neighborhood nurture I'm just going to click edit to be able to jump into it and just really quick again just for orientation when I'm talking about smart plans what you're looking at here is on the left you'll see different steps that you can add into the smart plan like they'll create a task for you you can have it be a call reminder for you you can send an email to consumers send texts Asterisk right here. If you do not have that Twilio account, it's okay if you use a smart plan that has a text option in it. It will simply change it around and make it be a text reminder or a text task for you, the agent, and then you'll be able to text them directly from your own device. It can be a little time consuming if this is for a lot of people, um, so just keep that in mind. But an actual benefit to it just being a text task for you. If you don't have a Twilio account, you can send images 
in your text on your own mobile device, when you use Twilio through command, you can't put images in the text. It'll let you do emoji emojis and you can use URL links, but you can't use an image. Just to let you know pro and con there. Now add to smart plan. You can actually set up a smart plan that will then put those contacts onto another smart plan and keep it rolling so that they just keep moving along okay through different smart plans so again another benefit of fully automating your command is have them finish one smart plan and then maybe you have a different one that you want to add them to and then they can automatically start on that one too without you having to constantly move them or add them to another smart plan okay so left hand side the different steps we can add i'll go through them with you in detail when we jump into the custom and i'll show you how to actually add all of them and adjust it before orientation, your steps are over here on the left. Compliance and best practices are listed here and tips and rules listed here. If you ever want to take the time to read those, highly recommend it. Your smart plan is actually living right here in the middle of the screen. When you build it out, you will see what we call a day card. This is the day one card. Any steps that will occur on day one within this smart plan will occur here. And then as you move along, you would have different day cards or different steps within that smart plan. Notice when I clicked on the day card, where you edit them is over here in the right hand pane. Okay, I'm gonna click off the day card just to show you. Sometimes you will see this little blue pop up showing you that if it's a KW authored smart plan, which we know this is, this is their monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan, sometimes it is limited in editability, meaning. You can't come in here and edit this email essentially because they've already set it up. So notice when I click on it, even though I get a pencil option, I can't really change a whole lot. I get a lot of red, red X's, okay? So that's okay. I just want to show you that that is the case with Keller Williams. It's because they're built to be ready, set, go, right? You don't need to come in here and add a whole lot. They're ready to go. Just add your contacts. Down here at the bottom, you'll see other details about this smart plan. I'm going to go through these with you in detail. Just want to show you where they live. Okay. This is what a smart plan looks like when you're editing it. I'm going to hit X to come back out of it. And now that I've given you the general orientation of a smart plan, I want to show you how you can jump in the smart plan library and go ahead and grab some of these for yourself. So right here in the library, this is what it looks like. Let's do a general overview here as well. You do have your search bar and you can search by smart plan name, author name, especially like the Keller William ones, right? They, I believe, have nine in here, if I'm not mistaken. We also have some, Scott Leroy Marketing. Um, just remember that our last name has the space in between it, L-E space Roy. But we actually have um, smart plans in here. One especially that we just created is a June newsletter that we'll be putting out and it'll be every month. So next month you'll see the July newsletter, things like that. And these are newsletters already built that you can send to your database. You can also search by description if there's a particular type of activity you're wanting to do or topic, right? You can come in here and search by description. Think about like, quarterly call plan. You want reminders to help you remember to call your database. They have one for that. You can put that in the description and find that plan. Okay. So you can also use filters. You can come in here and find how long smart plans are. If you're looking for something that's recurring that would continue to nurture your database or maybe it's even a year long. Maybe you're looking for a particular author. Maybe you want it to be super high touch and just really interact with your database to get high results. Or maybe you want one that has a ton of downloads. You know, a lot of people have tried it and you feel like that would be a safe bet to start with your business. You can use that. Even ratings, you can choose which stars that you want to choose. Maybe you only want the five star and the four star. So go ahead and set those filters up how you would like for whatever you're looking for for your business. And you would apply those filters and see the, the smart plans that fall in that category. You do have categories over here for featured, most used, top rated, and newest. You can also see those same categories if you just scroll down on this page. Notice we're looking at the featured. There are eight. 
it gives you a little bubble right there and shows you. And you can look through all of these just to give you a breakdown of what you're looking at. This is the name of the smart plan. It gives you a little blurb about what it's about. It will show you when they're published, how many downloads it's had, and what the rating is. It even gives you an idea of the steps, the duration, and the touches. So out of three steps in this smart plan, one of them directly touches your contacts and it goes for 31 days because it's a monthly call plan. This is one that you could actually add in and it would set reminders for you to call your contacts every 30 days. You could just have it recurring. One less thing for you to have to worry about, right? Check the author, make sure you're good with that. And you can also click the view steps and it would show you the exact steps within this smart plan. You can add the smart plan from here. We're gonna hit cancel to come back out. And you can add the smart plan from right here as well. You would simply click add smart plan. It would let you name it what you would like and then you would click download. We already have this one in our tab so we can't download it. If you see that download grade out, it's because we already have it over here in my smart plans. The arrows over here to the right will continue to let you scroll through those featured smart plans. And if we scroll down on the page, we just move to the next category. Here's Keller Williams. They have 10. So excuse me, I said nine earlier. They have 10. This is the bi-weekly neighborhood nurture right here that I wanted to tell you about earlier or that I did tell you about earlier that happens every two weeks. Here it is. Highly recommend grabbing that smart plan. They also have a quarterly call plan. Highly recommend this as well. It has over 150,000 downloads and four and a half stars. It's a good thing. We're going to move over here to the right and look at more Keller Williams smart plans. Here's the birthday one. Go ahead and grab this one, guys. Add the smart plan right here. This is the one that will help you remember and celebrate your cus consumers' birthdays. And the monthly neighborhood nurture. If you don't want it to go out every two weeks and you just want it to be a monthly touch, you can grab this one. And further over to the right, here's that home anniversary one right here. Highly recommended as well. It's not to say the other Keller Williams ones aren't great. They are. Highly recommend looking into all of those as well. But these are the three the home anniversary, the birthday, and that monthly neighborhood nurture. These are the ones I showed you the advanced filters for earlier, how to tag your contacts. These are the ones that just really recommend going ahead and grabbing because it's something you want to do for all of your consumers. The other may get into more of like how you want to run your business. If you, the open house follow-up, maybe you don't do open houses. So that's why I'm skipping over those. It's not because they're not great. It's just these are going to serve you today instantly before you jump into your business even further, right? Okay, you can scroll down from here and see top rated. And at the very bottom is what's new. These don't have ratings yet. Some of them don't even have downloads. But if you're looking for cutting edge stuff and you like to pioneer and try some new stuff, maybe you want to come check out all the 50 brand new ones that are down here. So just to keep that in mind, okay? That is your library. I've shown you how to add those smart plans over to your My Smart Plans. Now that we've done that, let's jump back over to My Smart Plans tab. And the smart plans you would have added will show up right down here at the bottom. Now we have an absurd amount. We have 94 down here, which is fine if you're working in these heavily, but you will likely only see just a few. But you'll see the ones that you've created customly and the ones that you've pulled from the library all here in the same place. If you ever need to sort through them, you can click on these column headers and it will sort them back and forth for you, okay? If you ever need to do that. Now, if you wanted to create a custom one, your custom button is right up here for create. That's gonna be the last thing I go over today. Just know that that is in the, another place where you can create those smart plans from scratch if you don't want to get them out of the library, okay? Just want you to know where that button lives. Now, let's talk about how to edit a smart plan. When you pull them out of the library like that, if they're KW authored, remember I showed you how it's limited editability because they're, I mean, they're just really made just to go, just like they are. But sometimes if you get one that's authored by another associate, 
you do want to jump into that SMART plan, look through it, even test it by sending it to yourself first. Add yourself to that SMART plan first just to run through it one time. Um, and the benefit of that is just to make sure that it actually is only showing your branding and there wasn't something in that SMART plan that was created by that other agent that has their information in it. Not that they would ever do that intentionally, but sometimes when people are building SMART plans, they may enter information that's theirs instead of leaving it open to where you can add yours. Okay, so definitely test these first um, and definitely just walk through them really quick to edit them just to make sure this is what you expect it to be. Okay, so we'll go ahead and I'm going to look for our long term plan here. Our long term nurture to jump into that smart plan. We would click the edit button right here. And now we're, we are within that smart plan. Remember, steps to add on the left, smart plan is being built in the middle, and our edit fields are over to the right. Okay, Navid, great question. Are smart plans free or do they require a subscription? The first 5,000 emails you send through a smart plan are free. Smart plans are free in and of themselves. The only thing that you're going to get into cost-wise is if you have that Twilio account to automate the text messages through smart plans, okay? That you would be paying for that subscription every month. And if for some reason you go over 5,000 email sends a month, then you would need a subscription for that. But in general, getting started today, it's free. Smart plans are free, okay? They're free to you. Good question, though. Excuse me, I needed to get the frog out of my throat. There we go. Okay, so I've already shown you the edit limitations within a KW plan. This is a smart plan um, not authored by KW, so we're not seeing that blue box on the right-hand side. So you can come in here and click on the different steps, click your pencil, and you can begin editing the information the day it goes out, the time of day it goes out. Um, you can also edit, let's see, that was add to a smart plan. So let's look at the make a call step. There's a lot of things that you can edit within a make a call reminder. And so you can come in here and make changes to these. Okay, I'm going to jump in those in detail in just a second. But I just want to show you this is where you would come in, make your changes, save changes. I'm going to click cancel though. You can also come in here, add a new day add new steps, do what you need to do with your edits. And then once you're done, make sure you save your plan at the top. So you can come in here and edit smart plans. Also, if your smart plan is already active, active meaning it has a contact added to it, that's what activates a smart plan. I'm gonna show you that briefly. That means that your editability might be limited because you already have somebody on the plan. So there will be limits to what you can change in that moment. Okay. And so if you do have a contact on the plan, just know you can still come in and edit what's in an email. You can edit the text content, task descriptions, and you can change the time of day for some of the steps. Um, you just can't add extra steps or remove steps when somebody's actually on the plan, okay? So I'm just going to go out. Just wanted to make sure you were familiar with where your pencil is to jump in and edit a smart plan. Let's talk about how to activate that smart plan. That was adding the contacts to it, right? So to simply add contacts to your smart plan, you do have that option right over here on the right-hand side you can click add contact. This is where your tags are going to come in super handy. You can click tags, type in the tag that you added, select it, and then all the contacts that you had for that tag will populate right here. This is where it's a little limited guys on this. It's only going to let me select all, but if I had more, I think it's 20 or 100. It's one of the two. I would literally have to scroll all the way to the bottom and continue to hit view more, view more, view more, and it would just max out eventually for me to be able to add in one lump sum to the smart plan. So if you only have a couple of folks, 
go ahead and add them this way. That's fine. I'm going to cancel and show you a better way. <laughs> Come over to your contacts tab. Remember how we were bulk adding tags? You can bulk add contacts to smart plans that same way. So you can come in here, go ahead and click filters. Let's say we're looking for that tag again, right? You can select whichever tag it was you wanted to add. I'm going to hit um, the X to X out of this. But if you do choose this, remember to hit apply. Once you're viewing your contacts, make sure you're viewing up to 500 at a time. And you can add up to 500 contacts at a time to smart plans. There's no max number for contacts you can have on a smart plan. You can just add them in lumps of 500. Okay. So you would select all. And from your bulk action menu right here, add to smart plan. It opens your smart plan drawer on the right. You can select the smart plan you want to add them to right here. If you're not super familiar with which smart plan it is, you can always check that little arrow and look at the steps for each one to just re-familiarize yourself with those. And you can search for the particular smart plan there. If we're looking for our monthly, there it is. So we can go ahead and select and add this guy to that monthly neighborhood nurture, okay? When you add a contact to a smart plan, it lets you schedule them right now I can start them on immediately it doesn't matter if you already have contacts on that smart plan it will start that contact from the beginning of the smart plan no matter how long anybody else has ever been on them it will always start the contact from the beginning and move them all the way to the smart plan so no worries if you've already started a smart plan you've already added contacts to it it's okay you can go ahead and add more contacts you can choose to start now or start on a specific date and you can schedule that out right here with the calendar. If I had more than one contact chosen, I would have a third option here to stagger my schedule. That means out of if I was trying to add 500, I could choose to only add 50 a day to the smart plan. This is super smart if you are including them on a smart plan that has tasks you do not want to set up that many contacts on a ta on a smart plan in one day and create yourself 500 call reminders for the same day, right? So a stagger schedule option is available if you're adding multiple contacts to the smart plan and you can choose how many contacts you want to add gradually over the next few days, okay? Highly recommend that if you're using a smart plan that includes tasks for monthly neighborhood it's an automated email that goes out. It's not creating tasks for you. So you can go ahead and start now, even if you are doing the full 500. Click the TCPA disclaimer at the bottom that you've read this and you're familiar and click confirm. That way you get a green banner letting you know that you've added this little guide to your smart plan. That's how you do it in bulk. And if you're ever right here in this contact, if I were to click him and come right here into his contact profile, you have a smart plans tab right here for each contact. I can come in here and add them to a smart plan from right here or even remove them from a smart plan right here. Okay, just so you know, that's how to activate a smart plan. You activate it by adding contacts to it. Okay, now deactivating a smart plan. Deactivating a smart plan is simply removing the contacts from it. Easy as that. You can remove them individually right here, like I was telling you, or in your smart plans tab, we're going to mosey back over here. Let's look for that smart plan where I had a little guy on it. Just a second as it sorts through the bajillion columns. I don't know why it's not coming up for me. There we go. Okay. So I just clicked it one too many times. So right <laughs> And it's delayed. Hold on. He moved back up to the top. There we go. So I have that one contact on this guy. Remember I told a little eyeball will do something for you. Click the eyeball. It will show you the contacts that are on that smart plan. And this is how you can choose them one at a time to remove them. Or you can select remove all. Removing all 
would remove all the contacts from that SMART plan, in essence, you have deactivated it. If we were to deactivate that SMART plan, this eyeball would go away. It would show the little dash like it does here, meaning there's no contacts on that SMART plan, but it would still live right here under your People Plans tab so that you can always come in here. You can edit it. You can activate it at any time that you want. It would still be here for you to use, okay? So we've gone over how to activate, how to deactivate, how to edit, and how to go into that library and get some smart plans for you to get started on today. With our last few moments here, I'm going to jump into a custom smart plan because there's some neat things that I just want you to be aware of that this sucker will do for you, that this thing will do for you. Sorry. Um, right up here on the right hand side, you can click create, and this is how you would create a custom smart plan. You have to pick a name. So we'll just say demo for our class today. Hit create plan. And from here, remember our general layout. Steps we can add on the left. We're building the smart plan in the middle. And we've got edit options over here on the right. So here are some important things. On the left, remember when I told you you can send out an email? If I drag and drop this to be our first step right here, I have two different types of emails that I can send out. You have a simple one, which means it literally is only the text that you put in these fields, your subject line for the email and your email content. It will not pull any information from your marketing profile as far as the body of the email goes. You would need to enter your email signature right here manually. You would say, hello, your message right here and then at the bottom you would have to say your information type your numbers whatever you would want there for them to be able to reach you you would need to do it right here okay so you would go ahead and enter that stuff manually you do have merge tags available to you meaning if you want it to say the contact's name Maybe you want it to have your first name, your last name, and your app link. You can do those. If you're familiar at all with creating designs in command or anything like that, it's similar to those merge tags. So you can come in here and add those in if you would like. So hello, contact first name. So when this email goes out, it would be personalized to that person, okay? And you do have some editability with font and size. You can add hyperlinks as well. This is a simple email. There is a designs email that you can send out. That's where I was showing you in the designs tab. You would want it to be an email design. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what that will look like. You can click select design. It brings you to the design projects that you've already worked on, that you already have available. So let's go ahead and do our June newsletter right here. It gives you an option to edit that design if you would like to go ahead and make any changes. I can choose to preview it to make it sure it's exactly what I want. By the way, this is our June newsletter that you can go and grab this smart plan. Um, Desiree, unfortunately with the Zoom, I can't unmute you, but you are more than welcome to drop a question in the chat or you can email us, either one that you're more comfortable with. But if you, and you can send a private message to me too on here if you don't want to leave it in the common chat, whichever one you want to do, but I can't unmute you, unfortunately. Um, so this is our newsletter. We looked over. It looks good to us. We're going to hit X and click X again. It'll prompt us to save if we made any changes. But it just added that design to our email right here, and that's what it will look like and go out. It will look similar to that sample that I showed you at the beginning, where it has your footer on it and pulls your information and your headshot, has the contents of the email like so. It will use a lot of graphics. I'm going to scroll really fast all the way to the tippy top, so you can also see that your branding would be at the top as well. Okay, if you use an email design, that's how you can do it. Okay, another quick thing that I want to show you, I'm going to click cancel on that. The text options. This is another big option here that I want to make sure you're aware of. 
it does say I can send an automated text, but lets you know Twilio is not connected. But that's okay. Let's pretend we had a Twilio account and that it's going to do an automated text. I have two options. Static text means that there is one text message right here. No matter how many times the consumer moves through this smart plan, especially if I had a repeat on it, and I wanted the consumer to continuously go through the smart plan over and over, that one text will be what is sent to them every single time. I'm going to say right here, just so you can see what it would look like. I can add merge tags in if I want it to be their name, like hello, and add the merge tag first name. You can do so, and you can also use emojis, okay? But if I want dynamic, that means that I get multiple text options. I believe I can do up to six is what it used to be. We've had an update recently. Yeah, it's still six. Okay, so six text messages right here. And so no matter how many times my consumer rolls through this smart plan, they're going to get a different text from me. It will notice if the consumer has been through it once and got the number one text. And so the next time the consumer comes through this, it will let you do the second text. It'll do it automatically and so on. That means this consumer can move through this smart plan up to six times. Think about like maybe once every six months or once every month for six months, whichever, they would get a different automated text from you. That's pretty awesome. Again, in this day and age of robotics, making it feel a little more like a personal touch is the way to go, and this would be great for you, okay? So, Again, this is the option if these two are options if you have a Twilio account. If you don't have a Twilio account, you can still add the send text option on a smart plan or use a smart plan that has it. It will just automatically change this to a text task and create a task for you. Okay, so just so you're aware, I just wanted to point out those two things. I'm going to hit cancel over here. Looks like I have literally one minute left. I'm going to show you over here on the right-hand side your auto add and remove rules. Notice it says trigger tags. Let me throw a an option over here really quick. Let's do send text. I'm going to create a task. I have to fill this out for it to let, me, let us use the trigger tags um, to add those. So I'm going to go ahead and just add that step really quick click off of it. And now right here, oh, I haven't saved my smart plan. That's what's wrong. Save your smart plan. And now it will let me add trigger tags. Remember we were adding tags to our contacts. If you add a trigger tag right here, like our MNN, this means moving forward after this trigger is here, any contacts that I add the MNN tag to, will automatically get started on this smart plan. You can add trigger tags to any smart plan in here, up to 10 tags at a time. And that way, especially like, think about when you're having new leads come in um, and you've set it up maybe through paid ads or whatever to have an automated tag added to those leads. It could be a trigger tag on your smart plan too and automatically start them on a smart plan. So they're immediately getting value. They're immediately getting resources from you and they're getting that touch and that interaction so that you're not as apt to lose leads. Okay. So you can add these trigger tags right here. Click add when you're done. I'm going to click cancel for us. And the last two right here, remove contact when. You have two options. You can choose both, either or or none. But basically, if a contact replies to an email from a smart plan, you can choose to automatically remove them from the plan. Or if they reply to an automated text, you can choose to have them automatically removed from the smart plan. You don't have to choose these. This means that a contact can actually reply to the email or reply to a text and still continue to receive that and be on that smart plan. Think again about the monthly neighborhood nurtures. It would allow them to continue getting those updates okay um desiree's asking a trigger tag is automatic once you add the trigger tag here and it's on this plan yes desiree as soon as i go and add that tag to a contact or import a contact with that tag or i've set up lead management routes 
or rules within my account that when I automatically get a lead, a tag is added to them. Anytime that tag is added to a consumer or a contact moving forward, then they would automatically get added to the smart plan without you having to do a thing. It doesn't backdate. So if you've got contacts right now that have that tag, they won't be added. You'll want to manually add those. But after the tag is trigger tag is added, anytime you add that tag, it'll automatically add them. All right, guys, Oop, two minutes over. Sorry, guys, that is the end of the smart plan. If you are here with me live, definitely hang around. I will go back through the questions in the chat and get those answered for you. If you are watching this back on recording, you can reach out to us at support at scottleroymarketing.com and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.